Today is a very exciting day. We are finally going offshore fishing. And it's been well over a month since we've been offshore. But first we gotta get to the inlet. And before I get my hopes up, we're not even sure if we can get out the inlet. There's very hazardous conditions, big rollers out there. So let's go see the conditions. God, check this out. <laughs> My sabiki just got destroyed by a barracuda. I'm pretty confident that's a barracuda bite. That was a nice bait too. Darn kudas. We had no sabiki now, there's like two hooks left. It's a lizard fish. Yeah, big old lizard. Jeez. Oh no, it's a. Uh, I forget what you call those things. Oh, those are the things like in people's fish tanks. Check them out. Look how pretty. He is really sharp. Look at all those spines. Oh my god, on his head right there. Look. It's a sea robin, I think. Yeah. You do not want to get poked by him. Woohoo! Help! Give her the boat! Give her the boat! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. Nice job, Sizzle! Woo! Can I wait? Is that it? Is that well in? Is that well going? I got it going. I got it going! No, well not going. It's not going up. Ow! Watch it. Oh. Nice job, we're going fishing. You more or no? Nah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That what? was fun. I oh, am. Yeah, that was fun. We found the bait. As you can see, we caught, I think I caught about six to eight blue runners. And they're not the biggest ones, but they're still bait. So we decided to go ahead and do some pre fishing today. And we are slow trolling four lines of live blue runners. And basically, we're pre fishing because tomorrow uh, we're going to be doing offshore fishing bright and early in the morning. And today we got a late start because of me once again. I was busy doing my test last night and studying and I finished all that stuff very late so I ended up sleeping in a little bit and uh, we came out here, found the bait, caught the bait, now we are trolling. So Brian is working the lines, he's first mate over there, I'm captain. <laughs> um, well we've got two baits down deep with weights and those you see right here, nice runner and then we've got two on the top and we haven't got a hit yet. We're basically trolling from 100 feet to 200 feet of water and the further you go out the rougher it gets. We have a straight north wind today so um, the closer we are to land a little bit less choppy it is. So we're just going to find the fish. We're going to be out here a little bit. We're going to be out here just trying to find the fish and then um, once we do we'll kind of have an idea for tomorrow and tomorrow it's game on. I don't think it's a fish. It's a fish. Might be a bill, bill fish. There he goes. Jump. I'm a neutral. It's a fish. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Go oh, it's a sailfish. Just jump. Good jump. Good jump. Oh, Greg. Good jump. We gotta get the gloves out. Okay. Let's see if we can land them first. We gotta get away from this boat. He's gonna cut us off on the fish. Okay. Sure, he's way hell out there. Ah. 
I had the drag pretty tight, but I needed to have it tight in order to get him in. So let's see what happened here, but I'm pretty sure he just broke off. Yeah, clear cut. That's a shame. Well, still a good fish. Actually, the line is really, really frayed right here. Yeah, I think... Uh, I, I saw the fish here. I think he had he was a little foul hooked. It's, a lot of times they'll get that they'll get the bill around this line a little bit yeah and it'll, it'll just break off i mean you know the bill is obviously very sharp it's for cutting fish in half right it's really frayed but anyway good way in the day though yeah that was a good fish sorry i couldn't get any closer for you guys to see him but maybe tomorrow we'll get a sailfish too um but a really good fish he jumped all over the place but he was way the heck back there and the camera can't pick that up but that's a good fish for the end of the day unfortunately we couldn't land him but that's okay We have this bait spot that we've been catching a lot of fish on today, bait fish, and it's in 30 feet of water, and every time we go over it, there are a ton of fish on it besides the bait. Look at my sabiki. This is what I mean. Like, it just gets destroyed down there because there's barracudas trying to eat my bait and just all kinds of things going on down there, and I think we just got a dozen, so we just saved a little bit of money for tomorrow. I am going to go try to catch a bass. <laughs> I really, really should not be doing this right now. I have a ton to do. She should be sending your calendars out. Yes. <laughs> hey, don't get me in trouble now. All right, I'm going to try to catch a bass for five Done minutes. Done low. Five minutes. <laughs> Minimum of five minutes. It's crazy, guys. I didn't catch a fish, but that's in the backyard. But I did try, and no luck tonight. Oh, well. But we did have a great day of offshore fishing. We ended up getting out there. It's been over a month since we've been offshore. And to, we also had to break in our new powerhead on our engine. And for those of you who are new and don't know, we had an epic uh, boat fail, $12,000 to fix our engine. And you can check that. It'll be linked in this video right here. You can check out that video um, to get up to date. But we did have a great day. We found the bait. We ended up catching a, almost catching a sailfish. So that's a very successful day. And I'm just super excited to get back offshore tomorrow and hopefully land some really big fish. And so if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for new videos every single day. I also want to tell you really fast that I'm shipping out calendars and shipping out bracelets this week. I'm doing that right now. So hold on, guys. Your stuff is coming to you soon. And so until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.